Good morning and welcome to your daily sparks. You know, temptation comes in a variety of forms, from obvious enticements to break the law, cheat and forsake a commitment, subtle pressures of flirting with wrong or bending the rules or delaying what is right, maybe a little bit too long, and sometimes nearly invisible urgings to gratify yourself, shifting values f- away from God to our own, taking the easy way instead of taking God's way. Through the constant pull of our sinful nature, and the constant attacks of the enemies, Satan, we find, you know, Satan is, is attacking us all the time. And we find ourselves tempted all day, every day. And facing such powerful and continued influences, the good, the bad and the ugly, the obvious, the subtle and the almost invisible. We have to realize, you know, sometimes you look at it, you say, I just want to give up. I can't even take this anymore. But you have to realize that God is more powerful than all of them. He is faithful and he promises to keep us from temptation, promises that no temptation will overwhelm us if we keep our eyes fixed on him. He always provides a way out, a way of escape, it says in 1 Corinthians. So when you are tempted, thank God for trusting you that much, trusting you enough to put that temptation there because he knows you can bear it. And then ask him what you should do next. Look for his way out and take it. You don't have to fight temptation. You need to flee it. And you need to get out of this situation. God will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But he will use this in your life to grow character. And he will provide a way out. If you're tempted today, don't give in. Fix your eyes on him. We'll see you tomorrow on Sparks.